Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So today we're talking about Ebo, Ebo SE. He was recently on Kickstarter. I subpacked Ebo SE and Ebo Air. Now, Ebo SE is the next version from the Ebo S and Ebo Pro. And then after that, in November, we're going to have the Evo Air, which has a lot of AI technology in it, more than Evo SE. But Evo SE is a great patrolling robot, a great photo taker in his perspective. Don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out Evo SE from Ennabot. Okay, people, now it's time for another edition of What's in the Box? What's in the Box? What's in the Box? Ebo SE, your smart companion. Let's open the box. Cue the music, Phil. Alright, we have an instruction manual. Power block. Uh, power cord attached to the charging base and Ebo himself. Let's look at the charging base. Now they've redesigned the charging base for the Ebo SE and Ebo Air. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. You can see where the IR sensor is. You can tuck the wire over here and it looks like this is uh, kind of sticky so it doesn't move when you find Ebo's location makes it easier for him to charge We have our power block looks pretty standard And now we have Ebo. Let's take a look at Ebo. He's got more weight to him than I thought he was going to have You can see the speaker on the back and the SD card is already installed It looks to be a 16 gigs SD card That's cool Alright, so here are the tracks. Um, they look to be pretty cool. There are two motors currently that drive Evo. One on the left side, one on the right side. Um, the tracks have little feet on them like a dog print. That's kind of cute. And you can see the two bolts here that hold in the plate so it looks like it might have a decent way of getting into the battery and then the contact plates and a reset button okay so what did we get in the box instruction manual and power block USB cord attached to the base and Evo himself very cool let's hook this puppy up and see how he works okay we're gonna go through the settings on Evo in the application now you can hit this button here and that will turn off Evo Boom, he is off. Nothing is happening with him. Turn it back on, and he's good to go. In the settings feature, you have the Evo beep. That's his sound, so you can raise it. Evo! And there you go, he says his name really loud. The eye light, the eye light is a feature on Evo. And we'll turn on the camera to show you. But right there, that little flashing light is his eye light. And then the do not disturb feature. The do not disturb feature is when you want him to be quiet. I have him currently set at midnight to 6 a.m. You can invite members um, via QR code, via the Evo user ID via email or 
via phone number. So if you want to have multiple users using the application connecting to the Evo, you can do that. Um, media files, I don't have any media files currently on the robot, but I do have them in the download feature. If you hit the download feature, it shows you exactly what is in the download feature. These are the videos that I have transferred and downloaded. Security feature is where you go in and you can set up your features. So you have Ebo cruising, he cruises for three minutes. And then you have the fixed location and in fixed location. You can trigger a time event, which means you will turn on a particular time and turn off within an hour, two hours, or four hours. Or you can do a motion event trigger. And then the motion event trigger allows you to go in and actually look at different areas you would like to select for motion or not to have. So default selection areas are areas you can drag and draw rectangulars to select customize detection area. Uh, you can receive push notifications for particular events and you can set them up at any particular point in time to start along with one hour to 24 hours. You can set it for weekly by selecting each day of the week or you can select individual days, all those work or you can set up for a one-time Wi-Fi is just your Wi-Fi connection um, about Evo goes through the About Evo, and it's also the place where you update your firmware. Um, device report, you need to have him on the charger, and then he will then do a few um, tests on himself and then return back to his charger. You can see different notifications right here about device, like he lost his way. Um, motion detection by the robot. All right, so that's pretty much the application. Okay, so we're going to go through device controls uh, and drive Ebo around in this room. So let's go in here first. So let's drive Ebo forward. Now I put on he should automatically stop so he doesn't run into the door because when I, I did that by going here and going into auxiliary settings and I put anti collision assistance system in there uh, we have auxiliary view and vibration touch function all there you can alter the steering pad uh, controls you can use it on double or you can do the single mode which then you just use the joystick like item and then over here on the right side you have the additional controls I kind of like the double so we're going to leave it there uh, you can super definition high definition standard definition we're going to leave it on high definition because it looks pretty good uh, right now and then you can adjust the speed movement. You can slow them down. You can speed them up. Uh, device call. Not exactly sure what that does yet. So we'll have to look that up. And then there we go. So that's good. So we're going to go back to the screen. So we can see the anti-collision works. Because when he got too close. We're going to go max speed into it. He just stops he doesn't collision into the door so that's cool and then let's see we can make him spin to do like a 360 degree little loop there and then we can make him go backwards And then we can hit him to like turbocharge. And we backwards again. Try this one. He kind of does like a nose dive. You can't hear him right now because I'm down in the living room, but 
kind of cool. And then also in here you can take a picture. You can record a video. So now that we're recording, we can do a turn. Now he doesn't do tight turns from what I can see here. He doesn't run into the wall. So if we take it off, and then go back here. See, it doesn't stop. So I like the anti-collision. We're going to leave that on there because I think that's a good thing. It's He just announced that I dialed into him, so he knows that I'm looking, and you can see that he's captured me. But I want to see if he goes off his charger in a minute. So let's see how that works. All right, there he goes. Very cool. We can see his perspective now. Doing a look around. Now he'll do this for three minutes. Each time. Giving you a perspective of what he's seeing. So he cruises really well. Looks like he's going to run into his charger again, though. And the app's showing you exactly what he is doing right now. He's not really mapping it out, but he is kind of repeating his perspective here. All right, so Emo's going to return to his charger here. Perfect. Good job, Evo. Ah! <laughs>
Alright, so here we have Ebo. Alright, so we know that he should be able to ride himself, so let's try it. There we go, he did it. So how many times are we going to do this? At least twice, I guess. He doesn't like it very much, but he can ride himself. He goes back onto his wheels. All right. So now you got to see Ebo in action. Uh, Ebo is a very durable little bot. Um, for the most part, he has taken some major tumbles in my house since I've been testing him. Uh, and besides for the ones I did on purpose, he is very, uh, very durable. Uh, Bruno threw him almost across the room uh, not on purpose, not trying to be mean, but he was doing his pounce thing on it and Ebo was up there and at the same time he kind of kicked Ebo. And Ebo did his little tumbling thing and then finally he hit the ground and came upright. Uh, he did make that little noise that he makes that sounds like a help me Ebo noise. So that's kind of cool. There are a few things. Now when he goes off of his charger doing the three minute patrol that you can set up and you can set up multiple three minute patrols off his charger. Uh, he runs through a random pattern. It's kind of fixed but random at the same time. He's not very good with steps though. So if you get to the steps, uh, Ebo will go down the steps. And that's been one of the other things that he has done since we've had him and he will go down the steps. This is Ebo SE, not Ebo Air. Not all the features that are going to be in Ebo Air are in Ebo SE. As a photographer, this guy was able to... Yes, this guy was able to get up and close and personal to my cat Samson and I was able to snap a few photos that I put into the video and of Samson. Uh, for Bruno, Bruno's a little bit bigger, Bruno's a little bit more rough, and Bruno's a little bit more of a puppy. I know he looks big, but he's really just a puppy. But with Ebo, he so far was able to uh, go unscathed with the big Brunmeister. The uh, only thing he got was tossed around. As a home security bot, uh, he works really well. If I want to patrol my house or I want to check something out in the particular area that I am and I'm out of the home, uh, his viewpoint perspective is very good. I like it. It gives you a full room view as you're tooling around, moving Ebo throughout the space that he currently lives in. He performs well on carpet. He performs well going over carpet. He does not like the joint between linoleum and carpet it's too high and it puts them into a stance like this because it's bigger than its wheelbase so overall he gets 10 points for durability uh, the fact that he can be thrown around the fact that he has taken a tumble down the stairs not one flight but he made it all the way down two flights of stairs yeah he did um, and he's still pretty much unscathed is awesome uh, overall I like Ebo SE and the money for that through Kickstarter was really good so you couldn't beat it so I'm excited to see what the AI version of this is the Ebo Air um, I'm really yes I agree all right if you're interested in Ebo SE I put a link below where you can find them along with all the specs and details this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you soon. See you soon.